Welcome to the inorganic video on drying by using desiccators. Throughout your first and second year studies, all drying will be carried out using a desiccator, unless you are told otherwise. This is because many compounds you will work with are thermally unstable and so drying using an oven is unfeasible. For a desiccator to function properly, its desiccant must be fresh. On the left of this image is the bright orange fresh desiccant, on the right is the hydrated used desiccant. It is important that the desiccator provides a seal against the outside atmosphere. To achieve this, we use silica grease. A small piece is applied to the finger and then smeared around the edge of the desiccator, ensuring no parts are missed but that the layer isn't too thick. The lid should be then slid onto the top of the desiccator, ensuring the seal is complete all the way around. To use a desiccator, you should slide the lid off, place your sample on a clock glass, which you should slowly place inside the desiccator, and partially cover your sample on the clock glass with another clock glass or watch glass. It is important not to make a complete seal. This prevents loss of sample by air blowing it around. The lid is then slid on, ensuring a firm seal. and the blue safety netting is put over the desiccator. You should then ensure that the tap at the top desiccator is closed. Attach vacuum tubing to the vacuum line and also to the valve at the top of the desiccator. Then turning on the house line vacuum and slowly open the desiccator tap. You should hear a hissing of the air escaping. Once the hissing stops you can open the tap all the way. You can then leave the desiccator like this to dry or you can close the tap, turn off the vacuum at the vacuum tap and then remove the piping from the top of the desiccator. Again, you can then leave the desiccator like this with the vacuum inside to dry your compound for as long as you need. To open the desiccator, place a piece of filter paper against the top and slowly open the desiccator tap. The filter paper should stick and then when the pressures have equalised, it should fall off. Open the desiccator tap all the way. This is to ensure there's still no more vacuum left in there. Remove the blue safety netting and slide the desiccator lid off. You can then retrieve your dried sample. It is important when storing the desiccator that the lid is closed and that the tap on the top of the desiccator is closed also.